Hi, everyone. I'm Carrick, and this is my friend Sam. And I recruited Sam today to help me uh, demonstrate um, partner poses, which I realize that you might not always have a partner. So if you don't have a partner right now, you might as well stop this class and go find another class. Come back when you do have a partner, because every pose that we're going to do um, requires a partner. Why? Because when you have a partner to do the poses, you get to experience the pose in a slightly different way. Um, sometimes you'll, your balance will shift because your partner is in the mix. Um, sometimes you'll be able to get a stretch or an opening that you couldn't get on your own. Um, so I hope that this simultaneously elevates your awareness in the poses um, and helps you to, um, to get more out of some of the poses. It's not that you always have to do the poses with a partner, um, but this also it's just fun. Okay, but um, I hope you learn something and then you can take some of what you learn into your normal practice when you don't have a partner. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna have stand and face each other. We'll start really simple. You're gonna hold on to each other's forearms. So one uh, person's hands will be down and the other person's hands will be face up. And then you're gonna walk back until you can bend your knees to roughly a 90 degree angle and your upper body and your arms are parallel to the ground. So you don't wanna be up here. You wanna be really facing the ground. And then from here, your friend's entire body weight is pulling on your arms. So you want to stay safe from your hands, pull your arm bones into your sockets, like plug your arms deeper into the sockets and lift each other's arms up, soften your heart towards the ground, keep your feet really steady and strong, and then just lean back and give each other a nice stretch. And this is a stretch that you really cannot get by yourself. So you have your friend's body weight pulling on your arms, stay safe by pulling from your own hands into your heart, plug your arms deep into the sockets, and then just uh, let gravity, let, actually it's not gravity, it's the weight of your friend, stretch your arms uh, under your arms in your shoulders, and maybe even across the upper back a little bit, but mainly uh, just under the arms, through the upper rib cage, into the shoulders. One more breath. On an inhale, come up, don't move your feet, we're just going to switch the grip to right forearm to right forearm, and then widen your feet about two inches wider and take your feet about two inches back. So you're going to get a little longer. Place your left forearm on your left knee or your thigh. Lift your right arm up. Twist. Look under your arm. Now you have more weight on just one arm, so pull from your hand into your shoulder socket. Plug the arm in. And then if you want a little more, you can straighten the right leg Pull your right hip back, so like stick your butt out on the right side to straighten the leg. More weight goes back. You get longer in the right side body. Option to put the left hand on the ground on the outside of the heel. Right? And this will hopefully be a pretty good stretch. Lift the arm up, plug the arm into the socket, look under your arm, and then just let your friend's weight open the shoulder. And if you're slipping, hold on a little tighter. <laughs> Inhale to stand <laughs> and switch sides. All right, squeeze each other's forearms. Lift your left arm up and then plug in from your hand to your heart and then lean back, lift the arm up, twist, look under your arm, pull your left hip back. So you straighten the leg, not by taking the leg out to the side or the hip out to the side, but straight back behind you. And then you can place your right hand on the ground or you can keep the hand on the knee and then use each other's weight, lean back. I got you, Sam. And twist, look up, and then feel that stretch in the left side body from your hip to your armpit really long as you pull the hip back and you let your friend's body weight extend your arm. One more breath. Inhale back to the middle, come up together, and then step almost to the front of the mat. We're just going to do a couple of sun salutations, and uh, as you do the sun salutations, um, you can stare each other in the eyes, which is going to seem really weird at first, but Part of the partner poses is really connecting with one, one another on a, a slightly different level. So, you know, it's like good communication um, for teammates, uh, for friends, family um, is key. And I feel like we don't often connect um, with each other by looking into each other's eyes. Like uh, direct eye contact is pretty rare these days. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head. Exhale and fold, touch the ground, watch your heads, don't hit. Inhale, come up halfway, lengthen forward. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Lower to chaturanga. Inhale to cobra, find your friend's eyes again. Exhale to downward facing dog. 
From your heart, push out through your hands, and from your heart, lift back through your hips, stretch long. Look forward, bend your knees, and then walk or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to lengthen, spine long. Exhale to fold. Keep your feet really steady. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale and draw your hands to your heart. We'll do just two more. Inhale, sweep the arms and reach up. Exhale to fold, touch the ground. Inhale to lengthen, heart forward. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or float back to the bottom of the push-up. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to down dog. As you do the sun salutations, do your best to mirror your friend's actions, to mirror your friend's movements. Look forward. Bend your knees, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to lengthen, heart forward. Exhale to fold. Feet heavy, inhale, reach the arms up. There, we're synced. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good, inhale again, reach up. Last sun salutation. Exhale and fold, touch the ground. Inhale to lengthen, come up halfway. Exhale, chaturanga, step or float back. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to dot. Pause and breathe. From your heart, push out through your hands and from your heart, lift back through your hips. Look forward, bend your knees, step or jump in. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Keep your feet steady. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale and draw your hands to your heart. Okay, good. So we're gonna turn around and face uh, back. We're gonna go back to back. Um, and we're gonna lock elbows. And then here's the challenge. You're gonna walk your feet out um, until your knees are bent to a 90 degree angle, like you're sitting in a chair, right? And then this will get challenging pretty quickly, right? I can already feel my thighs burning. All right, head back into each other and then press into each other to hold the shape. And then we're gonna to try to go down and touch our hips to the ground and then press back up. Push down, push. One, we're gonna go for five. Down and up for two. <laughs> down and up for three, chair pose. Down and up for four. Last one, down and up for five. Hold and then stand tall, come on up. Oh, okay, now I'm warmed up. <laughs> okay, now for a couple yoga poses. Um, so for the next, Few poses, you'll need a block. Actually, you could do it without the block. You could do the poses without the block, but the block will help um, in, in a few of them, okay? So have that block handy. We're not gonna use it in the first one. Um, for the first pose, we're gonna go not quite toe to toe, um, but you can see our mats are separated by about the distance of the block. Um, you're gonna mirror each other, so I have my left leg forward and Sam has her right foot forward. And then we're going to just start with the elbow on the thigh and reach the top arm over. We're gonna connect at the palms and interlace our fingers. So here's the practice here. Bend the front knee over your heel, straighten the back leg, and we're using the resistance of the connection of our hands to push into from the hips, push down and back through the back foot, and from your hips, push up and forward through the top hand. Go straight arm with the top hand, and then use that resistance now to twist and open your chest towards the sky. Draw your arm, draw your friend's arm behind your head. Twist and look up. Straight arm, straight line from the back heel to the palm. One more breath, and then inhale to come up. Switch sides. Right leg forward, left leg back. And then you can adjust, you can kind of figure out the distance between the feet. Yeah, we're a mirror, we're not, wait, are we mirroring? We're, we're, we are mirrored, but we're doing different, like you're doing left leg, I'm doing right leg now, yeah. right? Yeah, so we're not doing the same side. All right, interlace the fingers, little gap between the toes, All right? And then forearm on the thigh. On the back foot, push down and back. From your hips, push up and through the top arm. So create a straight line from your left heel to your left hand. 
but the energy starts at the center of the hips and pushes down and back, and then the energy starts from the center of the hips and pushes up and forward. Now use the top hand, the resistance, that leverage to twist and open your chest towards the sky. Push against each other, use that resistance for stability to open your heart even more, to find more freedom in your chest. One more breath, and then inhale to come up. Oh, you had hand on the ground? No, I went for the, at the end, it got so big that I needed to put my hand down there. This twist got so big. Did you, what about the first side? The first side, I didn't, I didn't have that much space in my body. <laughs> let's go, let's go again. Good, get close. All right, round two. Hand on the ground this time. Top hand. Yeah, this will feel good. All right, top arm straight. And then one of the things that you'll have to do in these poses is I'm not a lot taller than Sam, but I'm a little bit taller. So I'll have to adjust to her height a little bit from pose to pose, okay? So that's part of the practice, adjusting to someone else, push into the top arms, you're adjusting to their resistance, and then using that to open up, twist open, lean back, inhale to stand. Good, switch sides. This is harder. That side's tighter. Tighter. Uh, All right, interlace the fingers. Let's go hand to the ground. And then push into each other. Wait, I'm gonna go farther back so you can really extend. Okay. Now draw the top arm back, twist, use the resistance of the top hand to steady the arm. Then you can rotate your top shoulder back even more. Twist and look up. Stretch your legs. Stretch the top arm. One more breath. <laughs> oh, inhale to come up. Okay, I'm working so much harder than when I'm just doing it by myself. So, yeah. like I'm sweating, <laughs> sweating from side angle pose, which is kind of crazy. I'm getting like a wave of stretch. So, when someone else is depending on you to, um, to do the pose, it, for me anyway, it tends to make me work harder because like I'm, I'm working to match my energy to Sam's energy and she's putting out a lot of energy. So then I have to match that in, uh, with an equal amount and it's, 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 it's a like, lot of effort. Like I'm, I'm doing, oh, of course, it's the partner I'm doing also. I'm trying to match his yeah. energy. I think it's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next one is warrior two. Um, you're gonna get pretty close. Actually, let's move that mat in. I'm gonna match our mats up. And you're gonna go pretty much toe to toe for this next one. Um, same idea where we're using opposite legs, so we're both facing the same direction. And then I'm gonna place the block somewhere in a position where both of our knees can touch the surface of the block. And then we're going for pretty much a right angle on the, uh, in the front leg so that I can push my energy straight into the block. Stretch your arms. And then you can look at each other if you want. All right, and then it's, it's, you're not trying to push your friend over, but you're trying to feel the energy of your friend through the block. So from your hips, push down and back through your back foot, brace yourself, and then push into the block. Let's go to like five out of 10. And then we're gonna add a little more effort, six out of 10, push. And then seven out of 10. And then you have to balance the block too, eight. Full stretch, the front of the pelvis should be opening a lot. Push into the block, push into the back foot. Nine, and then full blast, 10. <laughs> okay, and then someone grab the block and straighten the leg. Switch sides. So the question I get all the time when I teach this is, um, is that how hard I'm supposed to work in Warrior Two all the time? The answer is yes. Okay, so should you be should you be stretching out? Should you be pushing your energy out that much all the time? Yeah, pretty much. Do you push out that much all the time? Do I push out that much all the time energetically? No. Only, only when I have Sam. All right. Yeah. All right, so what we're doing is we're, we're offering our effort, we're offering the practice to each other, right? And then in, in an effort to make each other better. Right, so we push into the block as a way of offering 
from our hearts. Okay, push. And then we're at maybe five out of 10, 50%. And then we can go 60%. Yeah, 70, 80, 90%. Right, okay, now, now full blast, go. <laughs> Two more breaths. And then the balance makes it really hard too, I know. One more breath. All right, and then inhale to come up. Okay, so I feel that more, I feel my inner thighs working a lot to push out. Do you feel it differently yeah, than a regular? Yeah, on my left side, I guess I'm, I'm tighter on my right side and also yeah. stronger on my right side. So I felt really strong, but also like the inner hip, my hip flexor was like. Yeah, cool. The inner thigh on the left is what I felt. I encourage all of you to talk about it too. Like um, part of what we're doing the partnering for is to build trust and communication as well. Um, especially if you're working with teammates, um, you know, I think good communication among teammates is always a plus. Um, so, you know, talk about how this affects you and, and what you're experiencing. Okay, for the next one, you're going to set the block right in between the two of you and turn to face the away from each other. And I'll put my left heel on the block, pretty much in the center of the block. Sam's going to put her right heel on the block in the center. So Sam, come onto your toes like that. And then put your heel in the center of the block. Yeah. You kind, and then you kind of want to, like, <laughs> this is not easy. You kind of want to feel your friend's foot through the block. Like, you want to be able to feel your friend's energy through the block. Okay. So do that while you have your hands on the ground and you're relatively stable. We are going up. Hug your shins in. Draw in from your feet up into your hips, and then engage each other through the block. Inhale and stretch your arms straight up. Bend the front knee over your heel and lift your chest to the sky. Drop your tailbone down, pull your rib cage in, and then find each other through the block even more. Push harder. So now maybe eight out of 10. Chest to the sky. Push harder, nine out of 10. Curl back, look for each other's hands. Mm, I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't think so. One more breath. Stretch long. And then hands to the ground. Step off of the block. And switch sides. Let's see. I'm going to move this to the center. Heel to the middle of the block. Second side. You can have the big toe mound on the ground. And then push. Find your friend through the block. The other leg forward. Nice long lunge. Strong legs, push into the back foot. So most of these exercises so far, it's about extending and pushing into the block. The organic energy is the energy that moves from the center of the pose outwards. Inhale, reach your arms up. The focal point of this pose is the center of the hips. And then you're stretching out through the periphery, the back foot, and into your friend's energy. So push into the heel. Where are you, Sam? There you are. Lift your chest and curl back. Keep extending into the block. And you'll probably feel the back leg working a little bit more than, than normal as you push into the block, as you search for your friend. Chest to the sky, lean back, stretch your legs, back leg straight, push into the block even more. Nine out of 10. And then full blast, 10 out of 10. Lean back, exhale, hands to the ground. Step off of the block. All right, good. A little break for the legs. Come up to standing. All right, little short break for the legs, and then we're going to move to the upper body just a little bit. Vashi Stasana. Um, we're going to face away from each other for the side plank pose. I'll have you face the, them. I'll face away from them. And then you're going to offset your hand. So I'm going to put my hand on Sam's mat, and her hand's going to be on my mat. Our forearms will cross. They'll make like an X. And we're, we're connected, so we're, we're going, we're physically connected. And then Sam, move, move your feet back and move your, uh, actually, no. I'm going to offset a little more. I want our, okay, so, yeah, I'm going to have our shoulder blades so we can lean into each other. You take the top arm up, and then I'm actually going to lift Sam up. Good, everyone lift your hips high, lift your chest high, and then lean back into your partner press into each other, and then I'm stretching Sam up, and it feels really good for me. Yes. <laughs> Is that a lot? 
So I'm pulling Sam up to hopefully make her lighter. And then for me, it feels really good too. Like the action of pushing up makes the pose for me a little bit lighter as well. So I get something out of it too. On the second side, I'll have Sam do like, it's almost like she's pushing me up because I'm taller than her. She won't be able to like pull me up. She'll have to like push me up. Okay. It felt like my forearm tendons were like stretching. Stretching, like okay. Forearms were stretching. Uh, let's switch sides. Okay. All right, so if you are um, different arm lengths or heights. Okay, so Sam's going to grab my wrist, and she'll, like, push me up. So she's organically extending to push me up, and then I'm just letting her take me up, and it feels really light for me. But hopefully, as she uses her effort to lift me up, it also makes the pose stronger and more stable for her, too. Two more breaths. One more breath. Okay, and then come down. Nice, thanks, Sam. So it, we've done these before, like all of these poses we've done together before, and we kind of know each other's bodies a little bit, so um, this is not completely new for us. If you're brand new to partner poses or you don't know your partner's body that well, um, the, these poses might not come that easily. So you can always pause us, pause, pause the class, and then figure it out. Take a little bit of time you know, if you think about like the first time you did any yoga pose, um, you had to figure it out and you got better and better at it. So your, these poses are not going to be perfect on the first try. Um, so I encourage you to practice them, try them a few times, okay? And, and you might have to play with the, the position of your hands on the ground relative to your partner, etc. Okay, here's the next one. Triangle pose. Um, so now we're shifting a little bit, so we're, we are doing the same side. So I'll take my left foot onto Sam's mat, and she's going to put her left foot on my mat. Our shins will cross, so our feet are, are uh, offset from each other. And then for this particular triangle, we'll both can you touch the ground? We'll both reach for the ground inside of the left heel. I'm going to offset even more. So we're going back to back again, and then take the top arm up, and then same here. You can do this in a couple of different ways. Like I can interlace my fingers and pull Sam up. I'm not going to pull as hard this time. To give her that opening and that lengthening. And then lean back into each other. Like um, I often give the instruction like you're leaning into an imaginary wall. Now no more imaginary wall. You lean into your friend. Lean back. Look up. Stretch. I'm stretching Sam as well as stretching myself. All right, and then both hands to the ground, and then switch sides. Um, right leg forward. Oh my God, that was awesome. You like lifted my hands off the ground. <laughs> outer shin to outer shin, pretty important. If you try inner shin to inner shin, um, you'll realize why I'm telling you to use the outer shin. <laughs> okay, touch the ground on the inside of your right foot. You're welcome to use props, so hands, on blocks, or even on the shin. Um, reach the top arm up, and then we'll do the other way here. Sam can, uh, either way, whichever feels more comfortable, I'm not really sure. Yeah, so then the shorter person can wrap their hands around the taller person's arm and really push them up. So it's more of a pushing feeling rather than a pulling feeling, but the, the energy is really the same. Sam is extending from the focal point, the core of her pelvis, out through her hands, and then Sam, lean into me. Where are you? I, I, I do too? Yeah. More? Yeah. Where are you? Lean, lean into me more. I feel like I'm going to knock you over. Really? No? Okay. All right, good. Stretch. Two more breaths. This is the communication I'm talking about. Like, I feel <laughs> like, a, I feel like I'm going to knock Sam over, but she says she's good. So, mm -hmm. yeah. This, feels, this side feels really different from the first side to me. Yeah. Inhale to come up. Like, I feel like we were both much more relaxed on the first side. I don't know why. I was this side's tighter. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Right. So that's probably why. So, okay. So cool. Right. And then, so sometimes, sometimes doing things with a partner makes you think about the pose, like, a lot differently than when you're doing it by yourself. All right, we're going to keep going uh, in a similar vein here. Um, so now half moon pose. Um, same idea. We'll offset the hands just slightly. I'm not even sure exactly where our hands and feet go. Are we 
uh, yeah, we're your left leg and I'm left leg too. So we're, we're actually same side. Let's, we're going to try to go shoulder to shoulder. Same. Oh. Shoulder yeah, to is, uh, no. This way. You want me to do that here? I want the top hand to connect. So I think we I think we were right. Yeah. So we I think we're okay. Like my head's gonna be in your back. Yeah. And your head's gonna be in my back. We're not. Yeah. Right. So offset feet. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm, no, no. No. Offset my hand. Yeah, your yeah. hands in my foot. Yeah. Yeah. That seems right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, um. Yeah. Wait, wait. Stay there. I'm gonna move back. So my head is not in your butt. <laughs> no head in the butt, okay? All right, here we go. I'm gonna lift here, too. Just gently lift. And then you can, hopefully, as I help Sam lift, she can relax a little bit, like use some of the stability that I provide her um, to be a little more relaxed. And then for me, I'm a little more engaged as I lift her. One more breath. And then both hands and both feet to the ground. So it looks like we were just offset a little bit with the hands then. Our feet were pretty far back. All right, that's good. Yeah. This one I haven't done in a while. Yeah, I feel like the more engaged part, my part is going to Yeah, I can just lift you up again. Where are you? <laughs> if I can balance. All right. All right, All right. good. Yeah, it feels really engaged, right? Stabilizes the top half of the pose, which is really engaged. Yeah. Stretch long. Breathe deep. One breath. Good. Feet to the ground. Four bend. One, one more standing pose. Um, and we'll end on kind of a nice one. All right, so. Yeah, yeah. This is like the easiest Warrior Three you'll ever do, right? Okay, so I'll let you come into Warrior Three, and I'll adjust to you, Sam. So we're gonna we're gonna mirror each other. Sam's gonna stand on her left leg, so I'll be on my right leg. I let her come into her Warrior Three, and I support her, and then I'm gonna move back into my Warrior Three. Easy. Good, Sam. All right. Now lean back. Yeah, like rest on leaning back. You okay? <laughs> Lift your arms up. We're good. Heart soft. Heel, the, the lifted heel back. Stretch. One more breath. Good. And then come up. All right, so this one's about like... Um, it's like legs. Yeah. And then and, and balancing with the other person. Like you... It's one thing to balance on your own. It's a totally different practice to like try to balance somebody or balance with somebody. It um, throws you off in some ways, but it makes you more stable in other ways. It makes you like pay more attention to like how you yeah. move and how much you're moving. So now you. Go All right, so I'll go and then you adjust to me. Wait, did we do the same foot on the left side? Uh, you're gonna. My left leg. Yeah, you're gonna be on your right foot okay. and your left leg back. Oh, it's so much easier being the. Do you feel well, like yeah, you're? It's harder. Yeah. I don't even feel like I can get on the standing. Now. You got it. I got you. Okay. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> so hard. Oh. Lean back, but hard in a different way, though. Yeah, it's just like hard to establish, and then once you do it, it's like oh. All right, both feet to the ground. Inhale to come up. Let's sit for just a second. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. I'm really sweaty. <laughs> All right, so um, we hope you had fun with some of the partner poses. Um, we hope that it helps you to see your practice in a slightly different way. Um, we hope that it connects you to whoever you're practicing with. Um, and it's just a nice way to mix your practice up a little bit. Um, thank you for practicing with us. We'll see you next time. <laughs>